ladies and gentlemen, and welcome back to Call of Duty Modern Warfare 3. Last time we were here playing as the United States military, pushing the Russians out of not only New York, but the East Coast. But now we're going back to Task Force 141 to help uh, Price and company escape the Russians. Now, as always, if you enjoy channel content or my general goofiness, likes, dislikes, bell icon, comments help the channel grow. And I appreciate your help, it helps us get to new users. I'd also appreciate if you guys can subscribe, but feel free to join our Discord. Link in the description below. But with that said, I'm going to shut up and I'm actually going to focus on the game. Uh, we've already seen this cutscene, so that's why I'm talking right now. But we'll get back to it in a minute. There we go. Oh, it doesn't have me restart the whole thing. It just has me fight these guys. I still suck on controller. Also, question, why did they wait to fire the RPG at the helicopter after it deployed its troops? Why is it that they chose now to fire? You know, let, let, let them deploy and get ready to stack up on the door before you go ahead and actually do something worthwhile. That could be a problem. That might be a problem. Yeah, that's a problem. Uh, kind of bleeding right now. Good shit, Price. So one detail I noticed, or... I found out from watching other YouTube videos on this. For most of the game, their names are just Price, Soap, Nikolai. Like, they had no military terms to them whatsoever. At the end of the game, when they're no longer disavowed, they they get their, uh, you know, Captain Price, they actually get their military ranks restored. Oh, shit. So are we in Russia or are we Where the fuck are we? Is the Russian Civil War still going on to where Like that was one thing that always confused me and even now I'm still a little goofed about. Oh you're what oh hi Alright there we go, we push the objective. I apologize for the weird button presses. It's just like I'm feeling my uh, Xbox buttons. Why does my X feel soft? Like I can easily push it in. I don't know why, this just doesn't give me the impression that we're in Russia. Maybe Kazakhstan? Maybe? Or India? I don't know, tell me in the comments section, do any of you know where in the world we are at the moment? Oh god, grenade. I thought I can go under there for a minute. Oh my god! Where? You just look at these bastards and they blow you away. Alright, taking an alternative route. Surprising the Ruskies because they were not expecting me to come around this way. I fucked that up so bad. Okay, there we go. 
Hey, Mueller, you wanna maybe help me? And yeah, maybe deal with these pissed off Ruskies? And, and it's an idea, I know, crazy idea. Or maybe help me with my grenade throws, because I clearly suck at that. And maybe may have just blew on blue. I'm just gonna dip for the checkpoint. The drone's doing another There we go. Which way? That way. Also, correct me if I'm wrong, but were the Russian loyalists a thing in Modern Warfare 2? I don't remember. I feel like they were never mentioned. So hearing Modern Warfare 3 talk about the loyalists, I was like, huh. Okay. Sounds like the Ruskies are pissed out there. Fun. Controls are gonna be in Russian. Yuri, you're oh yeah, there was a thing about Yuri that if you as the U UVG or UGV, whatever the hell it's called, if you look at Yuri, he's using his. Uh, they're using his uh, Modern Warfare One model. Wait, hold on. Yeah, he's yeah his character model is different. There we go, chopper's gone. I think there's a way you can actually lose the UBG early. UGV? UGV, that's it. I keep getting it mixed up. It amazes me that our uh, drone isn't already destroyed. Uh, look, look, look what I'm doing. Going right for the transport choppers before they deploy. Who would have ever thought to do that, right? I know, it's sure. true. Also, sworn there's more resistance back the way I came. Maybe I'm misremembering. I haven't played this game in like a good year. We're good. That chopper took a real long time to explode. I love that this gun also just does not overheat. Like, I could just sit here and hold the button and shoot at absolutely nothing. Oh, that's blue and blue. You see, if you have to kill a drone to kill it, you need another drone. But yeah, no, our Yuri's character model was the uh, Modern Warfare 1 character model for the Loyalists. Even though we know Yuri's supposed to look different in this game. Wonder why they I wonder if it was a placeholder that they just forgot to change. Like also look, he's wearing a short sleeve shirt, the short the gloves and everything, so it's definitely different from the character model that we saw in the UGD. So I've gone white river rafting 
when I was a kid. And those rapids really are rough. So he's lucky he didn't just get the shit beat out of him from those rocks. Like, he could have easily hit his head and that would have been done. The fact that he's still alive right now is... There he is. Lucky. Yuri. Good, we'll need him. We're going off to Makarov. Who the bloody hell is Yuri? They say truth is the first casualty of war. Fair. Because truth and history are written by the victor. But who defines what's true? Sometimes that means preserving the lie of good and evil. That war isn't just natural selection played out on a grand scale. But for now, it looks like the world may finally know peace. The only truth I've found is that the world we live in is a giant tinderbox. All it takes is someone to light the match. I mean, look at the way our world is today. Yeah, sounds about right. This is command point on the road to Hamburg. Skies are clear. All teams report in. Team 1, the President's office is secure. Team 2, lower deck is clear. Team 3, forward cabin is secure. We land in Hamburg in two hours. Team 1, remain with the President until touchdown. Wonder why he keeps a tethered uh, communist flag. He's waiting for you, Father. He's expecting an answer from me. Team 1 moving. I don't like him. No one does. That's why he's good at his job. What will you tell him? The truth. Hold on a second. For a second there, I thought it was the same guy with just a bigger beard. I'll see you at dinner. Mr. President. Vasily. Hello, Mr. President. President. Oh, hey, look, it's Vladimir Lenin. So he just quoted Abraham Lincoln. That is actually a Lincoln quote. Also, how did the terrorists get on board the plane and hide there so long? Also, oh, wasn't this just Mile High Club from Modern Warfare 1, but in reverse? So they just kind of copy and pasted the map and added a few other moments. See, one thing I'm going to say that I miss from the old Call of Duties, I remember as Call of Duty was releasing throughout the years, those had some over-the-top, like, nonsensical trailer. It was either some goofball nonsense, or they actually, like, had, it seems like they had fun with it, you know? Like, I remember, what was it, the guy, um, oh, what was he, the fixer, I think, or something? I don't remember what his name was. But basically, his whole thing was, he replaced you, so you could play Call of Duty. I think they brought him back for the newer uh, Call of Duty games. But honestly, they need to go back to the way Call of Duty was. The over-the-top nonsense, the big set pieces, all, all these like, oh my god, we need to save the president kind of shits, you know what I mean? Like, because that's what made Call of Duty fun. I don't mind the realism, don't get me wrong. It's it just, I don't know. The newer Call of Duties aren't what they should have been. Oh, oh, okay, okay, nope. This is why I'm not in the Secret Service.
All right, we got the president's daughter. What? Oh. Sure, it's an emergency landing. Doesn't really seem like they're landing. That doesn't feel like landing. That doesn't look like landing. Why are you guys bothering shooting? I see the Russian president's plane couldn't afford landing gear or a good pilot. How did we lose the president, by the way? Didn't we just have this guy? Actually, it makes me wonder how you got your job. We just had the president and his daughter, and you lost them. Hey guys, how you doing? Okay, we have the daughter, cool. Again, how did we lose this guy? If we found the daughter, where the hell is he? Is that the president? Nope, it's just some asshole. God damn. So our guys were in control of the plane, even though terrorists were coming through. And the plane went down for some reason. Because he was... I'm so baffled by this. Wait. This is not making sense. So the terrorists came up from the cargo hold, right? From my understanding. The pilots, our people, still had control over the plane. And I just died. I didn't realize that was an explosive barrel. I thought it was just like a heating element. Anyway. Our people were in control of the plane. Right? So explain to me, for one, why an emergency landing was necessary, right? Far, like, from what I can tell, there was more of us than there were the terrorists. On top of that. Right? How did the terrorists know where the plane was going to go down? The only logic that I can come to is that the pilot was on their side the whole time. That's the only thing I, that would really ever make sense to me. I can't believe I just shot at the ground instead of a bad guy. Um, the president's safety is compromised. What gave you that indication? God damn it. I was kind of on a last stand situation. I was really hoping I can kill these guys. Alright, there we go. For the most part, these guys should be cleared out. 
Oh, okay, they all decided to have a heart attack. All right, there's the president. Come on, let's get him out of here. Wait, wait, where is the president? You're not the president. It's the president. There you are. No, don't worry about it. She's with somebody else who I promise is totally competent and won't lose her. All right, we're, we're all competent. We all know how to do our jobs. Okay, don't worry. I can do, listen. This is a really easy job. I can do this. I can promise nothing bad's gonna happen. Oh, I'm sorry. Were you on this flight? I mean, you know who I am. wasn't really a good yes. commander to begin with. Then you know what I want. You're insane. Russia will take all of Europe, even if it must stand upon a pile of ashes. I want the launch codes, Mr. President. You'll never get them. Every man has his weakness. Find the girl. Well, we didn't last too long. Anyway, what I find wild is Makarov can't get the launch codes, but Zakayev was able to. Just saying. Remember that Modern Warfare 1, he fired nukes. Uh, the Russian president never arrived in Hamburg for the peace summit. With his whereabouts currently unknown, no one is certain what this means for the peace. Looks like Makarov just played his next hand. If he puts himself back on the grid, he wants it to be known. So where do we start hunting? Africa. Makarov's been using local paramilitary group to move shipments into Sierra Leone. From there, they go towards Morocco and into Spain. He's moving north. Right towards Her Majesty's doorstep. What's the cargo? I don't know, but it's important to him. Then I want it. We can use the river to get in close. There's a factory in the camp where they store the shipments. The PRF's been waging genocide in the Highlands for months. They'll be everywhere. Makarov wouldn't let this travel lightly if it didn't serve a greater purpose. And chances are the bastard will be there personally to see things off. If he's back on the grid, then so are we. We gotta figure out what this package is. I'm gonna say it's probably his private dildo collection. Nikolai, we're just outside the village. Copy. I'll pick you up in one hour. The factory isn't far from here. Macro's cargo should be there. Keep it silent. Let's move. What if I don't want to keep it silent? In TN on Road Port now. Militia's all over this area. So, try not to die this time. <laughs> you worry about yourself, old man. Also, how is soap already patched up? Vehicles approaching. Get down. All men don't die. All men don't nearly die. Bend your other one there. You know it'd be. Oh, alright, never mind. Never mind. I was gonna say, you know, what'd be kind of funny, is if this guy decided to stand right over the uh, soap. Soap's just sitting there hoping he doesn't notice. Guy walks over just to take a leak. Soap's poor bastard has to sit there and basically just get pissed on. I win. Man, that is not a dog, it's a demon. They're gonna torch the book. Where is he? Let's light them up before they light him up. I might have just shot a civilian. I, I saw a dude with his hands on his head like, oh shit, oh no, they're gonna torch him, man. And I kind of shot him in the back of the head. I didn't do anything stupid. I saved the civilians. I'm a hero. I might shot right though. I like how they're just sitting there casually like, Oh, well, this is going on now. And granted, they're tied up, so what are they really going to do? 
I deserve that. All right, so no goofs. Couldn't save the civvies. It be what it be. Get off the road. Get down now. I just noticed these trucks are kind of drifting, but in slow motion. I don't know where I'm going! I goofed! I died. I just realized that I was not talking at all for like a solid minute. I'm like, okay, I'm gonna do a thing, and I'm just, I'm just sitting here with my thumb in my ass. But yeah, I mean, overall, from start to finish, the Modern Warfare series, like, the old ones were... Iconic, to say the least. Like... Don't get me wrong, again, I love the new mod- well, mm, love is a strong word. I enjoyed Modern Warfare 1. Like, I really loved Modern Warfare 1, or 2019. I could care less for Modern Warfare 2, and Modern Warfare 3. We don't really need to talk about that. What? Excuse me? I see the factory. It's just up the road. I was gonna say, what the hell do you mean we're compromised? Right. Soap and I will advance. Yuri, you're on Overwatch. Get to a position on the roof and cover us. Got it. Hmm. How am I gonna take this guy out? I can't I don't know. There we go. There we go. Two more from the west. Take him down. Blow it up. Another patrol on the road. Take him out quick. And where exactly is this other patrol? Oh. Got him. Shot him square in the foot. Moving. Moving. Which I mean, I feel like he could still yell for his friends. Of course he did. Why would he go someplace easy for us to work with? Not like we haven't heard that line multiple times already. Got it. Don't gotta tell me twice. Hi right, guys. Don't mind me. Just gonna run to my friends. Oh god, oh god, oh god, oh god, damn, oh. What was that bullshit? Switching to your rifle is faster than reloading? Right? Bullshit. That is bull dinky. Because I switched to my rifle. Or my sidearm, or my secondary, or whatever the hell you want to call it. 
Might actually be faster to reload. Did that dude jump roofs and start blasting with a shotgun? Is that, is that fucking Spider-Man with a 12 gauge? Alright, so we've burned through a good chunk of these guys, I'd say, at this point. Somebody's still tagging me, and I'd love to know where he's at. Inching my way out. Okay. If we're fighting against a militia, how many guys are there really? Like what? Maybe a couple hundred? Like I, I doubt they're going to be that serious of a threat. So, you know, maybe it's just me. But considering this is Call of Duty, like I kind of, I, I don't know, I just can't imagine they're going to be that big of a problem. And of course, another MG that either does not need to reload or does not overheat because, haha, funny, why not? See, what would be funny is, come to find out, Yuri knows nothing of what he's doing. Hit the contact front! Poor guy sitting there uh, just holding onto the recoil. I don't know what the hell I'm doing! I thought it was like a regular gun! He's basically just Jar Jar Binksing his way through everything. Oh, you don't want to help me? I'm bleeding. Currently got hit in the blast. You know, I'm sure the people who live here appreciate this. On the bright side, I love that soap just rocked that dude. Anyway, on the bright side for the villagers, this gives them an opportunity to rebuild their homes and really rethink the design and the structure. Why does this remind me of the favelas from, uh, MW2. Let me in the comment section. Anybody else thinking that? Yuri, slot the bastards. Slot the bastard? What slot? Okay, we got a large group of militias heading our way. Then let's give them a proper welcome. Yuri, man the motor on the roof. They're down. Start putting shells down range. Use the motor and hose those bastards down. Hey, back's a bitch. There we go. Oh my god, come on. Dude, die. That's good for now. Let's move. We need to hit the church. We're running out of time. Oh, oh god, help. Where am I going? Jesus, help me! Where the hell did you guys go? Oh, okay. in the church now. You're sure the cargo will be there. It's the only area they could have moved it to. If not there, then it's already on its way to Europe. Let's hope he's right. Oh god. Alright, there we go. Bro, are these dudes bulletproof? I swear to you I shot them. There we go. All right, grenade out. Now, I know one of our lads asked me if I plan on doing the other Call of Duties like Infinite Warfare, um, Black Ops. What I kind of want to do is, I want if there is a sort of connected series, 
I want to play them together. So what I might do is I'm going to do... Well, I'm actually already done with World at War. Um, I, for the longest time, didn't think I was going to do Modern Warfare 3. But here we are. Uh, so I did... I, so, so far, my recordings, what I've done... Did Modern Warfare 1. Did Modern Warfare 2. Then I started working on World at War because I didn't think 3 was going to happen. And I ended up just staying screwed and did on my Xbox. So now we're doing 3. I might... I think I'm going to do Black Ops. Oh, I'm going to do the first Black Ops. First and second. Um, Black Ops 3. Actually, it did have a campaign, so I might play that one as well. Uh, I don't know if I'm going to do Infinite Warfare in between. Because, you know... They're, they're each their own series, essentially. Like, you know, Black Ops had their thing. I, I don't think Infinite Warfare was directly connected to anybody. Same for Ghost. So those are ones that I can really do whenever. Also, I feel like the shooting feels better in this game. Like... I, again, I remember... I think it was one of the Call of Duty. I'm pretty sure it was like Modern Warfare 1 and 2. Where for some reason... The gun just... Was it Modern Warfare? I can't remember which Call of Duty... Which gun game on control I was playing. But like... The gun was just throwing itself upwards every time I went to take a shot. It was Modern Warfare 1. It was... That was mother... Modern Warfare 1. Every... No, it wasn't... I remember now. It wasn't shooting. It was getting shot. When you got shot, it threw off your aim. That's what it was. It wasn't the recoil. It was actually being shot. That was the problem. Okay, so... Motherfucker. Alright, ladies and gentlemen. That is where I'm going to leave this one for for today. So, thank you guys for watching. Hope you've enjoyed it. I appreciate each and every one of you for being here. And I thank you for being here. Because without you guys, this channel just doesn't exist. So, I really do appreciate your support. If you guys want to come hang out with me, link in the description below for the Discord. Uh, I'd also really appreciate if you guys could subscribe. Other than that, likes, dislikes, bell icon, comments make the difference. It helps us get to new users and ultimately gets our channel to grow, and I appreciate it. But with that said, guys, uh, that's where I'm going to wrap it. Have a fantastic night, and I will see you on the next one. Later, people.